Hi everybody, Ed with the Weather Station Experts here. I am here to do a video on a weather station. You might be like, why are we looking at the Accurite website? Well, they have just announced a new station. It's called the Accurite Optimist. This apparently has been in development for about five years now. And it's one of the first stations to come with something they're calling a lifetime warranty. So that means the entire time that you own this station, it is warranty. They are really pushing this in a way that I remember them pushing in the Atlas and it didn't quite materialize into what they expected it to be. It wasn't as accurate as they had hoped either. Will the optimists change things? That's what we're looking at here. So it is the newest all-in-one connected weather station from Accurite. It will have all the standard wind speed and direction rainfall temperature humidity everything that you normally expect to see in a weather station with the addition of lightning detection as a standard feature that was optional with the atlas when i tested it with the atlas it had an issue with the ring gauge where it was causing a little bit of electrical interference they fixed that but even then it wasn't as accurate i've just not seen anything as accurate as the tempest as far as lightning detection goes so let's get it let's, let's actually dive into this and get a look at this um there i have a video here which we'll skip over here but yeah it was a five-year project so it seems like they put a lot of thought into this weather station development. And it does look like nothing that we've seen so far. It actually reminds me of a drone. And the neat thing about that is what you see here is you see these, uh, the, I, I, don't, I also want to call them like the arms, I guess call them wings. They actually fold inward. Now you might be saying, well, why would they do that? Because in a windstorm, those things could just fold in. But what it did, it lessened considerably the packaging requirements, which makes it more environmentally friendly, I guess you could say. It is a sleek looking weather station. Um, when I first looked at it, I have a pet peeve with stations that put the rain gate and the anemometer, especially if it's one that spins like this one, because it can throw water into your rain gauge. So they changed the radiation shielding and what they're saying is a patent pending pest repellent chamber. So apparently they designed it to keep the bugs out. And I can tell you from maintaining my weather stations, bugs love to put their little nests in your radiation shielding. So that's pretty nice. Uh, down here, it just basically show you the console. The console is probably one of the best I've seen um, out of anyone other than the weather event console. I mean, that looks really nice. One of my favorite things about Accurite is their app. And this looks a lot like their app. They did a real good job with UI in the app and it looks similar here, but there is a new app, which is called Accurite Now. You can see it here, which is a little bit different from my Accurite, but that you no longer have the Accurite Access, which is the base station that connects all your sensors. Accurite, I have to hand it to you. I originally poo-pooed this because I thought, oh man, they're you know, putting them. That's the, I actually am kind of impressed here. And then you can see the specifications, which are basically, I'm going to tell you. We're going to test this once soon as we get it. They always say this and there's no way. I, I can tell you there is no way that it's plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit because not even, uh, not even Davis is. This is the first one to have the lifetime warranty. As I said, the others have one year. Um, it's interesting that they're doing a lifetime warranty and I wonder why they're doing that. I'm just going to quickly scroll back up here and see if they explain, well, explain um, that. No, they don't. Forgot to tell you, how much is it? It's $279.99. So $60 cheaper than the Tempest without the half the grain gauge that, you know, is the bane of my existence. I am excited to test this. And as excited as I was to test the Atlas and I was disappointed, I'm hoping not to be disappointed by this because this looks... This looks good. This looks better thought out than the Atlas to me.
But that's all I have for now. I wanted to get this out and make sure that you saw that we have a new weather station finally, something new to talk about. So I'll see you in a little, little bit, and we'll have that review on the Climalytic Tropo coming up later this week. I know I'm behind. I have a story. That'll be a vlog for a later day. All right, everyone. Stay weather-wise.